Alright, Shalom, Mikey. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the pastor and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches word in all true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today, I just want to tie this lesson Two Thirds Are Thoughts. You know, with that acronym, Thought means that hole over there that that hole over there you know but in this in this sense the word thought means that heathen over there because two-thirds of our people are heathens they're even not even considered you know israel right now man they're not a part of the israel or the most high matter of fact let's start off with this in the book of romans the ninth chapter it said, not as though the word of the Most High have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. See? So, yeah, you can actually be an Israelite, you know, but you haven't pretty much, you, you're uncircumcised pretty much in the heart, you know. You haven't succumbed to the ways of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, and that's what makes you a heathen, you know, not hearkening unto this word, you know. And that lets you know this is not to bring all Israel together. You know, this word was going to be the separator, you know, between who the Lord uh, have chosen, man. You know, the real Israel, the Israel of the Most High, the ones that's going to walk according to a certain rule, you know. But the two-thirds of our people are thoughts. They are heathens, man. You know, matter of fact... <clears throat> Let's get this in on uh, St. Matthew. I think it's 18. Bear with me. Uh, yeah, this St. Matthew 18 in verse 17. It's saying, if he did neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a publican. See? So you're supposed to cast forth this man. You know, you don't want to hear you know, the counsel of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. You know, if you don't want to hear the uh, the church, you know, you don't hear the, you don't want to hear the, you know, the, the, the one that came to you, the two or three witnesses, then also me the church, you know, that's the stamp right there. When you don't hear the church, then you're going to be counted as a heathen man. And as a person, that's how these people, uh, two thirds of people, has been cast forth, man. Because you can be an Israelite, but that don't mean. That you are of Israel, man. Matter of fact, let's go back to um, St. Matthew, the third chapter. And um, you know what? I start at seven. It says, But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generations of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come? See, so it was going to be a generation of Israelites that was going to be considered as vipers. You know, was we in that time. Once again, we in that generation where vipers are around. You know, it says, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come? So, John the Baptist pretty much came to them. Pretty much, how do you know about repentance? Who told you to repent? How did you come into this fold? How do you know about this? You know? And that's what we say to a, just a regular Israelite in fringes pretty much that pretty much don't know the seriousness, you know, of this truth, man. You know? Who have warned you flee from the, the rap to come? It said, bring forth therefore fruits, meat for repentance. See? Fruit, meat for repentance. Fruits that's going to be... Uh, 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 they're going to live up to that, man. That's going to be worthy to repent, man. You know, because you got Israelites that's going to uh, put on the fringes, but they still a nigga on the inside, you know. And just two-thirds of our people, they're going to they're gonna be niggas anyway, man. Because even uh, two-thirds consists of just regular old niggas, but also niggas that know that they're Israel. It said, and think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. See? <clears throat> so not just because you're a so-called Negro <laughs> and you fit Deuteronomy 28 chapter don't mean that that's going to get you out of the situation. 
You know? It all goes down to you repenting wholeheartedly to your outbox and outside. And you're going to come on a certain banner to receive that peace, man. It says, And think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that the Most High is able to raise these stones. It's like it's, it's the Most High is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. See? It says, and, and now also the axe is laid unto the root of the tree. See? So Yahweh by Shemal Shai is already pretty much got his arm caught back to chop down Jake, man. See, the Lord about, about to once again show forth his wrath. You know, this pretty much going to be the last ass whipping of Jake, man. That's why it's called Jacob's Trouble because Jacob is in trouble, man. But it said that he that's going to be saved out of it, that's going to be the elect that's going to be saved out of this situation, man. You know? But it said the axe also is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth forth not good fruit is hewn down and is cast into the fire. See? So, at the end of the day, you know, your works is going to, you're going to be rewarded according to your work. So, you been doing nigga shit. You been a nigga. You're going to get the results of being a nigga. Or living like a nigga. Or a two-third, man. Which they are a whole another nation within themselves. Like I said, they are thoughts. They are that heathen over there. That hoe over there. Which they are, you know, uh, spiritually whores. And also uh, physical, man. And the physical as well, man. Because with nigga culture, pretty much it, it promotes adultery. You know, being a, 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 a tough faggot, by the way, of you having a... Uh, uh, Skinny jeans, you know, dyed hair, or 40 and a boyfriend, you know. That's what, you know, so-called black culture consists of, you know. So, guess what? You're going to reap the, you're gonna reap with your song, which is death, man, you know. Because Jake don't want to uh, pretty much, they don't want to uh, leave out of America. They need America to continue so they continue in their niggerism, man, you know. Matter of fact, um... Uh, Let's get this. This is the book of Ezekiel 9 and 4. It said, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. And set a mark. And Jerusalem is a is a is a people before it's a place. That city is it consists of people before it's a place, man. You know? And it says, And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. For all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, see? So the ones that's going to receive that mark, you know, or that, uh, that, uh, that mark of exemption, you know, is the ones that sign and cry for the abominations that are done in the midst. Now, you know about uh, the law in Deuteronomy 22, that, that, that woman that's been, that's been, that's for betroth unto a man, if she get, if she gets seized and laid upon, you know, an act of rape, if she cry out, you know, she's not going to be put to death, but the man is going to be put to death. But for the one, and on the other hand, if she was betrothed and she didn't cry out, both the, the woman and the man will be put to death, you know. So that's why that mark, that mark of exemption, the Thawa, is going to be the points of ones that sigh and they cry for all the abomination that be done in the music because America is. A shithole, man. It's vexing on all sides, man. Who will, if you ain't in the right spirit, you know, you won't want to leave this place. You know, and two-thirds of people don't want to leave this place. Somehow, some way, they want America to change. They ain't even got to say it. But if you building, you know what I mean, you got a plot of land you building, that means you need this place to continue. You know, or you putting stock into anything that, that pretty much need America to continue, you know, you not crying out. You actually is conceding, man. You consenting, you know. It says, this is the point right here. It said, and to the others, see, the others, see, you got you got to understand, the Lord considered the two-thirds by people others, which, matter of fact, I got that lined up. This word other, just a regular old Google definition, and this word other, it's a denoting a person or thing that is different or distinct from one already mentioned or known about. See? So, the others, they, they are a whole, that's a different nation, man. 
you know, which that why uh, Israel it, it was it's, it's, uh, it's three parts, but the only one that was going to be delivered is the third part, the one third. Those are the ones that's going to be delivered, but the others, the two thirds, the the different though that's they in a whole nother category. It said, "Into the others," he said, "In mine hearing, go ye after, after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity." See, so this is commandment of Yah of Yah by Shemal Shai is to kill two thirds of people, kill those thoughts, them holes over there, them heathens over there. That's why I said the others. You know, it says, "Slay utterly old and young, both made and little children and women." See, it says, "But." Come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. See? Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. See? So, and that tells you that the judgment is going to begin uh, at the house of the Lord, man. So, he, the ones that even know the Israelites, uh, it's two-thirds in the midst of them, man. You know? And that's, just, and that's how scary this thing is because the Lord brought them in in arm reach, man. You know, but two thirds of our people is of a whole nother nation. They are they in a whole nother category, man. You know, because they didn't want to hearken unto the words of Yahweh by some outside. So when that time comes, when that distress and angles come upon you, you know, the Lord ain't going to hear you, man. Because he tried to give you comfort, comfort, but you didn't want comfort from the Lord. You wanted comfort from Esau Eden. You wanted, you wanted Barabbas. You wanted Caesar. So now you're gonna feel the results of those decisions that you have made. So this is um this is um Zechariah Selm and Alem. He said, but they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder, see, and stopped their ears that they should not hear, see? And Jake don't want to hear what Yahweh by Shemal Shai is presenting unto him. Because he said they pulled away the shoulder. The Lord is that's a form of comfort. You you know. You put your arm over their shoulder. That's a form of comfort. But they didn't want that. It said they stopped their ears. That lets you know, by the way, of you hearing this message, that's going to be, that's the comfort right here. It said that they should not hear. So they didn't want to hear this. It said, yeah, they made their hearts as an adamant stone. See? Oh, it tells you the, um, the Lord's going to make our face. Matter of fact, let's get that before we go back. Let me just wrap it up. Let's see. This is Ezekiel 3. And, um, you know what? I started uh, Selm. It says, but the house of Israel. See, this is a whole other house, man. This is not this is not containing the whole nation of Israel. This is a certain people. Uh, you know, uh, two-thirds of our people, man. Because when you talk, when you when the scriptures when the scriptures talk about Jerusalem, that's talking about the elect. That's the city of peace. But when the scriptures say, you know, uh, for the most part, you know, when it say Jerusalem, that's talking about the elect. But in this, it said the house of Israel, that's talking about two-thirds of our people, man. This is a whole other category of Israelites. It said, but the house of Israel would not hearken unto thee, for they would not hearken unto me. See? For all the house of Israel are imputed and hard-hearted. See? It, and so they hard-headed and lack wisdom. It says, um, behold, I have made that face Strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their forehead. So we're stubborn in righteousness. They're being stubborn in wickedness. That's why I said they they refuse they refusing to hear it. So they let you know it was presented unto you, and they slap it at your hand, man. You know, this was presented unto them. It wasn't like they unwarranly knew. No, it was presented, but they refused it. You know, that's why we're being stubborn in righteousness. You know, it says, as an adamant harder than flint have I made thy forehead. See? It says, fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they, they see, be a rebellious house. See, that, that's a whole other category, man, of Israelites, that rebellious house of Israelites, you know? But the Lord have made I, we're, we're hard-headed in righteousness. They're hard-headed in wickedness. They still want to be niggas in America, you know? They still want to, uh, you know, uh, pretty much they trust. I tell you, they trust in oppression and perversion. They they okay with staying in Egypt. That's why they even had a council saying, you know what, let's get some captains so we can go back to Egypt, man. 
Well, this time, the Lord's going to, now you're going to see the results of staying in Egypt. You got to take the jab. Ultimately, you're going to take that, the chip. You know, that, that this destruction about to come forth, by the way, of these different plays is going to set forth. And ultimately, the icing on the cake, the missiles, man. You know? So it says, uh, this back Zechariah uh, 7 and 12 says, Yeah, they have made their hearts as an adamant stone. See? So they were stubborn and rising. It said, I mean, they were stubborn and wickedness. They didn't want, they didn't want this, they didn't want to hear the truth of Yahweh by Shalom Shah. They didn't want to hear the words of the Lord. It said, lest they should hear the law. See? And the words which the Lord of, of which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophet. See? It said, therefore, it came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. See? So, and, and guess what? It's once again about to happen. That great wrath is going to be by the way of Esau. Oh, that's why I tell you, your covenant with death is going to be disannulled. See? The Lord is about to turn up on these niggas, man. Those, those heathens, man. You know? He's going to only have compassion on his elect. He said, it tells you he held care for his elect, the elect of the nation of Israel, not just all Israel, the elect of the nation of Israel. That's a, that's a whole nother house, the house of David, you know, and that house represents a banner, a, a protection, a covering. It's a certain covering, protection, a banner that we come under, you know, then two thirds of our people, they they coming under a certain banner. They coming under a certain house, you know. But that's who the wrath of the Lord is gonna fall upon. It said, therefore, it has come to pass that as he cried, they would not hear. See, and don't you see that now? And by the way, the prophets crying out, but now they're not hearing Yahweh Hashem outside. They don't want to hear Yahweh Hashem outside. It says, so they cried, and I would not hear. It. Say the Lord of hosts, see, and that lets you know when they say the Lord of hosts, that's war talk. The Lord come in, that, that, that lets you know it's a certain spirit that comes with this scripture when they say the Lord of hosts, because the Lord is about to pretty much wreak havoc upon two thirds of our people, you know, those thoughts, those heathens, because that's how they, they're going to be judged as the heathen, man. Matter of fact, um, I tell you that the uh, circumcised is going to be judged with the uncircumcised, man, you know, and also tell you that they're going to be judged. By through death by pain, so that's the only way, and that's how the judgment of the Lord, uh, you know, when those those different sins that was worthy of death, pretty much all those judgments was set up was pretty much through pain. By the way, if you getting stoned, you know, you getting burned, you getting hung, you know, all those was you gonna learn it through death by pain, and that was set for an example of what not to do, you know. But that's the point. Two thirds of our people are thoughts. That that heathen over there. That's why the Lord considered in um in Ezekiel nine and, and verse five, he called them others. They're not even part of the Israel of the most high. They are another house. So yeah, I can just do edify and give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba Sham Yahushai, Ba Shamrakakodash. Double honors to the positive elders of Great Millstone. Like they say, Shalom to the elect that teaches the word in all true faith and sincerity. DTA, a Bible ball.